Hello and welcome back to Unboxer Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the Corsair K65 RGB mechanical keyboard. So let's get started. So let's start with the box. The box comes with nice text on the side and talks about the key, some stuff. If you want to learn about that, just go and look on Amazon or something like that. All the details you need, of course I gave in, all this nice stuff, pretty bad cam work there. So let's, let's crack it open then. So you just quickly remove this nice bit of uh, circular sellotape which is a pain to remove. Look at the amount of effort here, it's not even in focus. Blimey now, it's all gone wrong. Jesus. Eventually I managed to do that. You just flip this tab open. Again, look, I ripped rip the box a bit, but... And then it's just a case of pulling out the cardboard, and then... Swip it, swap it around, just the wrong way. And then, it's just time to pull the tab out. Wait for it, wait for the moment. Wait for it. Right, let's get it plugged in. Once it was out of the box, it's a simple case of plugging the two cables in and getting the Q2 software from the Corsair website. As you can see, this keyboard has a metal top plate, which is very nice, brushed aluminium. The keys are all RGB backlit per key. As you can see, I've set it up. It feels really nice to type on. Even the little um, media keys at the top change. Windows key lock button, which also changes colour as you push it. And to the left of them is the lighting intensity changer, which also changes all the lights, obviously. Come on, it's all about lights. So, the key thing about this keyboard is programming. So, let's go on with that now. So now that we've hooked up the keyboard and we've got the Corsair Gaming Q software hooked up, we're going to start messing around with the lights on this keyboard. And we're going to go okay over there. Um, so as you can see at the moment we've just got a simple bit that we actually type. And you can have different profiles so we can have it doing some nice fading. Or you can even download them and have it play Tetris, which you can't quite see on the web. Um, so, let's uh, get a new profile, so you can have loads of different profiles, you can name them stuff, uh, I think, somehow, who knows probably, maybe double click, who knows, anyway, right, like effects, this is the key bit, so you can do actions, so you can set up different sort of like hotkeys, macros, remap keys, to so say you want to just keep all the game settings the same but have a certain layout for doing stuff but which might be useful for say um, video editing and stuff like that so you can quickly just switch between them uh, performance you can just select all the different bits so like this uh, where was it? It was over here somewhere. see they have a lot key so you can choose what colour that goes to so it's currently blue and red but we can click on blue so you go green, and it's green, and red, do all that sort of thing. But the main tab you want to go to is lighting effects. So you click new, and it will just go with the basic one. So then you have a massive list which will go through. Um, speed, you can say slow it down, make it look different, or you can change the direction. And each one has some different settings. It's that, and then you can also rename it. So uh, Spinny, for example, there you go. And on the side it's a spinny. Uh, Rainbow Wave is another one, so you can have a nice wave of colour. Okay, nice and slow. And then you can change the direction, so you're going to be going down, light, all that sort of things. 
uh, visor, it's a nice sort of cross bit, it's probably easier to see on the actual keyboard bit. You can even change this so you can have it go between blue and white. And if we saw that there, we'll probably be able to see it a bit better. There we go. Um, so that's cool. Rain is pretty cool as well. That looks really cool. It's a bit distracting. But then you can alternate it so you can say, but man, that looks a bit more like rain. Um, color shift will just slowly fade so you can make it still go really quickly or really slowly between one or two colours again. Um, colour pulse will just like do the same but with gaps in between. Colour wave, let's do a nice waves of colour. Um, now this is when we get onto the cool stuff, so key, so you can be like, hello, no, wherever you hit a key, it lights up. Where is it? So it is looking at. Which is cool, and then you can also change the colour, so you can have it like, whatever you want. And then you can have ripple, so when you hit it on it, it will ripple out from it. Yeah, we're a bit of a wave. Eight rainbows and stuff, have some fun with that. Playback vision and microphone visualizer, these two stuff. Good. Static colour, you can just set it to a colour. And then also you can select keys. To say we want it just the F1 the F keys you need, just them. Blue white. Blue, whatever colour you want, I don't know, I don't know why you do this. Four of them, and then you could say get another layer, so save that, get a new layer, put that as also a static colour, and select all the F keys like that, so you have different lighting zones, which doesn't seem that useful, but then you can say go. Uh, that you just select them. Probably. I'm hitting the wrong keys. There we go. So you can say I have WSD in the colours. So if you quickly go down, you can see which keys you have to hit. That's not very useful, but uh, where is it? There you go. So you can see they're white. It's not the best, so I can say I'll just change them to red. There you go. See it. Uh, but more clearly, more clearly, yeah. Uh, so that's all of them. Lighting link. Cool. Oh. I don't know what some of these do yet, I haven't messed around with them. So we're going to have a look at that now. Cool. That webcam is pretty full, by the way. Um, so then, say you wanted a colour shift, so in the background it's doing all the slow stuff, let me save them, sprinkle them back, uh, we could type today, back, right, and add another layer, right these, and then you can just put in, say, Ripple is easier to see. I'm just cool, call it yeah. Ripple. Save it. Then, as you can see, it's just nice colour fading. But then, as soon as you start hitting buttons, it'll start changing. Which is pretty cool. Or you can do say static colours on top to save and you still wanted your WSD to be white and they'll stay white as it changes because it's the higher layer if you want know I mean so you could say them ones then also the arrow keys then maybe G for grenades or something P just, just all, all of them make all of them 
people might, and you might also have noticed, we'll say you do that, but also the colour buttons, which are, I'm trying to work out where to go. These also still change colour. So say I also just went back to the ripple. They also go in time for the ripple, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically all the lighting options. So I'm just going to close this video off now. Hope you enjoy it. Really like this keyboard so far. It doesn't have a number pad and all that extra stuff, but it's a bit cheaper than the other one. And I don't really use that much. Pretty nice to type on. It's good if you're coming from a membrane keyboard or you're doing YouTube because you can type quite quietly compared to other mechanicals where you have a louder click. This is just because I'm hard to type. It looks pretty cool when you're typing. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping you like this keyboard, it's pretty cool feels pretty nice as well and then you also get that so you can turn it off don't want to a dim one so say it's a bit like you don't want them on as much and then they get whiter and whiter basically so yeah I really like this keyboard would recommend it pretty much because you can just bust it down and get all that stuff going um so thanks for watching guys like this video if you liked it subscribe more. Comment down below if you like this keyboard as much as I do. And any cool lighting effects because you can get, as I said before, like Tetris going on it. Come on. I want you save. Tetris. And you click advanced on. And then you can see it's playing Tetris. Well, there. So, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.